It's Matt Nicholson, DM of Natural Ones Podcast. What you just listened to is Tonight by Cosby Sweater. Um, basically, they are a independent group who do kind of folksy indie music, which is pretty awesome. They do an awesome version or awesome original Hobbit song, which is definitely worth checking out. Um. And I have been a big fan of them ever since way before the podcast was created. Uh, they are actually part of the reason why there is a Natural Ones podcast at all. So if you know who to blame now. Um, what happened was originally I had found their song somewhere. I don't even remember where. And uh, it really got me into that like, oh man, I really want to start role playing again. Really want to start playing a game. And from that, you know, Blake and I started talking about, oh man, it'd be really cool to start recording. And then now we have a podcast. Yay, a podcast. But why am I playing that song for you and giving you history lessons that you don't care about? Well, Cosby Sweater is recording their own album and need your help. Uh, their website is indiegogo.com slash Cosby Sweater. C-O-S-S-B-Y-S-W-E-A-T-E-R. For those of you who can't spell not good. Me fail English. That's impossible. Um, and, you know, basically, they have, you know, it, it's exactly like Kickstarter. You have all your different levels of how much money you want to give them. Uh, they have $1, $5. Uh, $10 actually is where you get their digital love package which is a digital download of their album. And this album is going to be awesome. I think that everybody is really going to enjoy it. And if you are a nerd, it is pertinent to your interests. Um, but yeah, go check them out. And hopefully we will see that album soon. All right, thank you. And now back to the show. Whoa.
All right, welcome to another episode of Natural Ones. This is Matt. This is Charlie Fo. This is Gothbud. Kaleth. Madrash. Udinil. Oh my god, everybody's here. All the seals have been broken. All the planets have aligned. Oh, like that. <laughs> oh, yay. <laughs> the Even... prophecy has been fulfilled, and Blake is dead. There was much rejoicing. Yay. Dogs and cats living together. Mass <laughs> pandemonium. Sure. Yeah. This man World hunger <laughs> solved. <laughs> All right. No more nukes. But no yeah. more nukes. They turned into kittens. So surprisingly, but they still explode. They still explode. <laughs> I, I think for the first time Spoiler. in like what, like God, three or four months actually. God's not a unit of time, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Table flipped. Table has been flipped. No, it's probably been three months, if at, not more. At least. I mean, it always seems so like someone's here. Yes, yeah, yeah. everybody's been here. Um. You're busy making money. But I mean, yeah. So that that's impressive. Uh, anyway. As always, uh, check us out at, uh, or I guess email us at naturalones at zombie-popcorn.com. Check us out on Twitter at naturalonesdm. Facebook at facebook.com slash naturalonespodcast. And naturalonespodcast.blogspot.com for the amazing, awesome world of Keyleth blog. Kevis. Kevis, God. <laughs> oh, you got so close. Oh. So close. So close. I, I should really just, like, edit this all together and just, like, stick it in. Even though it's at the oh, end? But, yeah, it's at the end, and it's... Well, no, the yeah, blog's not at the do. end. Okay. Well, but, I figure since you know how to do it, I was wondering why you're doing it now. Just uh, have it? It lets you get... Yeah, well, it's, it's partially habit, and it keeps me... It's, it's good for my medication if I have a schedule. <laughs> Makes me less cutty. Oh. So. No. Uh, it's uh, flat. Oh. No cell. <laughs> no. no cell. Sorry. He's actually more upset about the joke failing than. All right. So. Uh, <laughs> am I right, fellas? Am, am I right? right? <laughs> am I right? I'm naked behind white, a computer. White people roll uh, dice. Uh, right. White people roll dice like this. <laughs> Black people roll dice like this. Turkeys. Turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> so is let's this? play some D and D. Yeah, it's gonna be like this all freaking episode. I promise. And this is why we never get together. <laughs> all right, so uh, stars of the line, full stupid. Everybody's actually leveled up. Are you looking for your character? Because uh, I did some extreme but sweeping. <laughs> sweeping to the max, yo. Did you, mix, did you mix up your L's and W's again? <laughs> Racist. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so everybody actually leveled up. <laughs> Fuck you, Joe. <laughs> this is why we need separate mics so I can just cut Joe. <laughs> so give, a, give us some money. Just put him in the closet. Can we do that at least? Joe's pretty much already pretty far in that closet. Oh, <laughs> gay joke FTW. At least I'm not out of the closet. I'm married. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, she's, a mean, that, that, she's a lovely beard. Just a beard. Yeah, she's the just best a beard. beard. Just a beard. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Where the fuck was... Uh, okay. Every- <laughs> we have a at some point. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so, podcast, right? We do that. Um, so everybody leveled up. We're going to do a, a real quick round the table. Everybody's going to talk about what they did after leveling up. They are now officially level four. I might have had to fudge some numbers, and some people got experience they didn't earn, but fuck it, whatever. It's my podcast. Shut up. Anyway, Charlie Poe. Um, well, I took this thing called Underhanded Tactics. Um, uh, Foe takes negative two attack, and, uh, negative two to attack rolls instead of one die roll of sneak attack damage. So if I hit an opponent and I have common advantage over him, instead of rolling two d8s, I can just roll one d8 and give him a negative two to attack rolls. Um, this is so when we're focusing fire and the guys are getting hit on pretty much, and I'm like, okay, I've been doing a lot of damage, let me see if I can try to keep the party members alive for a little bit longer. Is that an encounter, or can you do that anytime? Anytime I want to. That's awesome. Good lord. It's a, well, it's a, it's um, a feat, it's a feat it's which isn't a power. Well, it's I mean, a, some, feats, some feats act as encounter powers. Yeah. Mine's some encounter. of them you can't do all the time. Just, I hope that's not one of them. Yeah, I, I actually had to choose between a couple of them. One was, like, super broken, where my, like, to hit on a two would have been... If I had rolled a two, with everything combined, I could hit AC 22. Yeah, and he, he was like, yeah, so I'm going to do this. I was like, no. <laughs> like, no one wants to hear, I hit, 
I hit. I hit. It would have only been once per over every action point I ever use. All right. I got bad. Hello. What the fuck did you pick? <laughs> Markings of the victor. <laughs> roll twice for first attack roll each encounter. Use either result. My bad. It's that rolling twice that you hate. <laughs> <laughs> it confuses me. <laughs> Alright, so that means that we are at Keyleth. What did you pick, sir? Uh, so I was liking the... the the melee combat rather than just shooting lightning at people so I just went with primal fury plus one to attacks with primal powers against bloodied enemies alright Medrash I improved my breath with the Mentos finally uh, I, I uh, added the feat surprising breath to my dragon breath attack when you hit a creature with your dragon breath, you gain combat advantage versus that creature until the start of your next turn. You have to Could you not get, like, improved dragon breath that, like, you know, opens up the area to more? I or? had an option for one or the other, and I decided to go with the one that let me hit more often. Well, yeah. <laughs> next time, but I'll make the breath <laughs> wider. You'll never be able to hit with a one, though, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, now I'm sad. He'll be able to hit himself. Aww. All right, Udenil. I got superior reflexes, which gives me a, pu- a plus two to my reflex, and then I also gain combat advantage against all enemies during my first turn at each counter. All right. That also sounds neat. <laughs> because it is. All right. So, real quick recap is uh, our party decided that they were going to hang out in this town and found out that it was, in fact... Filled with werewolves. Of London? Oh. <laughs> the Kid Rock version, though. Not, oh. that, not that good. <laughs> sour. Listeners, we don't blame you if you turn the podcast off now. I kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? You already fucking turned in. I got your view, so... <laughs> No, no one listens to this shit. Don't tell the nerds that. They'll figure out a way to take them down. No one listens to this shit twice, so whatever. You turn it off. We I don't care to anymore. We listen to it. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so uh, the party uh, stayed in this town. It was completely filled with werewolves. Uh, after failing utterly to hunt them down, they were, ki- hey. <laughs> they were captured, kidnapped, tied against their will, and they eventually went in and murdered a bunch of innocent townsfolk who were werewolves under the control of a greater demon until they eventually figured out, hey... Let's kill the demon and not the innocent people. That's for shit. I still <laughs> say we should take out some of people. Just Best be heroes ever. Ever. Hey. We, saved, we saved Crud the Orc. And they saved Crud the Orc, who, uh... Who was, has, has he lived his dream to be the, the Iron Warship? Iron chef? War Chef? He is not, not yet. Oh. Now, now we have to make, like, another log be... spot of this recipes Recipes. From this, uh... They all, they, quick, they like, all involve children. These are all, all sidebars. <laughs> quick sidebar. I'll DM the, uh, War Sheik game. War Sheik? Sheik? Yeah, Sheik. You're all gonna be Sheiks now. Shut up. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me too, a little bit. Well, it's not hard to lose You didn't lose me, just disappointed me. Yeah, well... Yeah. Like, it's a lot, though. I mean, uh, anyway, now that we've made each other cry... <clears throat> you guys are, uh, are dead. <laughs> still in the uh, the mighty town of Wudge. Um, your uh, your, uh, your 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 what was he? He was a gnome gnome companion who was going to get you guys across the uh, the desert. Has been brutally murdered. <laughs> yeah, oh, no whose fault murder. was that? <laughs> and Can we uh, find another one. I think well, they no. ate the... No, no they that's promised just they actually ate the rest of the gnome party. Yeah, the gnome party was, party was all dead them. outside. That one survivor was chilling in the bar. But, uh... I had to break the news to him. <laughs> Very <laughs> awkwardly. <laughs> so, like, I don't know How for sure... tells me you never met that all their friends are dead? That hey. makes it easier. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to give a shit. You're just like, hey, everyone you know ever knows is dead. Okay. <laughs> just like, <laughs> hey, I just ride? met you... But all your friends are dead. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Call me, maybe. I'm leaving. Oh! <laughs> that song. All right. So, uh, basically, you guys are hanging out in the town and uh, helping people dig mass graves for all the people you murdered. 
Um, um, while in town, I pick up a dagger. Okay. Is that okay? Uh, no. yeah, I mean, like, it's just a, like, nothing Dag- dagger. Yeah. I it's, mean. it's basic defense at the last resort type thing I need. Okay. Um, so, you have now plus one useless dagger. Yay! Uh. Plus one? <laughs> and then, uh, as a plus one to useless. <laughs> it's just blunt. Hey. <laughs> like. Like a butter knife. knife stick. <laughs> Rubber knife stick, yeah. 500 gold for this butter knife. Sweet, worth all gold. Okay. <laughs> Plus five to not cutting. Um, <laughs> but so then, uh. Safety scissors. You guys are hanging out in the tavern, and the door opens, and Udanil walks in. Oh, thank hey. God you're here. <laughs> Can you touch my bow, please? What? Trust you, me, he's probably been waiting to say that for the past five minutes, just indulging. Major Ash face palms. <laughs> just touch my bow. Roll. No. Take a shot. I'm not doing that. Roll a face palm. I, I, yeah. I hear Kevs' voice. Punch yourself in the face. <laughs> if it was a 20, the he would punch himself in the face. Touch anyway. my bow. Arcana check his bow. Okay, Arcana check his bow. <clears throat> 21. Um... What are you trying to get from it? Like, what are you... What? Why? Why? What happens if I touch it? <laughs> it's a crossbow. Like, what are you doing? Like, are you doing, like, a what? spell? Are you... I'm checking what's wrong with it. Yeah. I forget. Do we... He, he could be affected so... by touching it. He thinks that old wizard that we met back at the tower is in his crossbow. Right. Um... Oh, I don't want that. Well, I'm... <laughs> so, you're, you're, so, you're I'm just... So, I'm checking to see if that's true. Don't get any on you. Okay, well, um... Arcana wise, you can't. You like it's a magic crossbow. You can tell it's a magic crossbow. You can't it's tell a bit sticky. why it's a magic crossbow because Arcana doesn't have anything to do with spirits. Not religion. Yeah, religion might. Fine. Why did not we just get the religion? Twenty-two. Yeah, it's haunted. So your bow's haunted. Good luck with that one. What have you guys been doing since? <laughs> Up the uh, towers. Um, <laughs> that's really what you're going uh, with. And mourn by. Mourn by. Not our best. Not Mentor. containing the magical, magical essence that is inside the tower. You were sweeping. So, what is your bow telling you? Uh, that's fine. Ignore me. I hold. I'm not doing the voice. It doesn't count for you. Don't do I, I, I hold the bow up to my ear. Fuck you, Mad Rash. You don't, you don't hear anything. <laughs> Nothing right now, but it calls me an idiot from time to time. So it doesn't so tell you anything, accurate. it just ridicules you. <laughs> yeah, it sounds exactly like my father. <laughs> it says I'll never amount to anything. Daddy? Pew! <laughs> Not 100% sure that is the bow talking. So wait, are we currently digging the graves, or are we just finished from digging the graves? I, I was joking about killing Yeah, like, presumably we're like, like, <laughs> like, in this game, everything I hear, I have to take seriously. It basically, like, you know, you guys did kill, like, with a half dozen people, if not more. So I mean, like they're they're kind of you know the town's in this period of mourning, like they're they're celebrating the fact that you know they they managed to get rid of this demon that's been basically took over the town, but at the same time you know like a lot of mothers and fathers and children are now in the dirt, so it's kind of a, a, a in between bittersweet. So including the gnome that was going to get us that skiff. He wasn't human, so he was just kind of tossed out on the outside skirts of town. So I kick him as well. Stop kicking the gnome. Um, do what? Is he alive then? No, he was dead. Well then... Yeah, he had his... He had I was, his yeah, I was asking he had if he was still dead. Crushed, he had his head crushed So would it be werewolf. streetwise to figure out who else can get us a skiff? Or do we know where the skiff is? Can we just ask? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can, you can do yeah, streetwise. Not, I don't know who would know. I don't know if it is. Like, do you know how to pilot a skiff? Like, you might want to get someone to help I'll go you. plus three for that. Uh, I actually Piloting? have a better street lo- streetwise street than you, though. Would it be dungeoneering to not But, um... <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Why don't you try, Joe? Um, actually, no, my streetwise is a seven. You might hard, have a better one than me. hard enough thing. No, mine's five. Finding a skiff that can support Cuthbert. You have something better than someone. Yeah. Is, Yay! I'm not high fiving that. Oh. Alright, well, I'm gonna try streetwise <laughs> then. <laughs> yeah! I, I okay. And um, try to find somebody who knows, who looks like they know something about like a skiff or anything. Um, see if I find any other gnomes in the area. Anything of that nature Stop to get to us out of, <laughs> out of the area. I got a 18 streetwise. Shit. Okay, so um, how long do you want us to be in this town? <laughs> eight episodes. <laughs> Answer the question. Um, so you guys are walking around. I mean, like Charlie Foe's asking people. I mean, 
this isn't such a big town that it, it's self-sustaining. I mean, like, you've got a couple of farms on the outside and stuff like that, but you can tell that a lot of its economy comes from uh, from Crag Rock and, mm-hmm. you know, bringing supplies back and forth. Um, so you manage to hunt down a guy, and he, you know, he, he can offer you guys passage. I mean, is there anything you want to say to him, or... Um, diplomacy guy. <laughs> Hello! Yay! Um, not, no, <laughs> not talking to an orc. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> if I had to talk to him, he would have attacked you. <laughs> yeah, probably eat me. Put me in a stew. Um, is there anything you want to know? Just, I was just, I'm just going to ask like, what the rates are. And rates. When can we get there? Yep, all that good jazz. Did you just make up words? No, all jazz, the... j- jazz isn't a real word. You're right, Joe. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, Neither is gullible. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I know you're full of shit. All right, I'm, I'm careful thinking. with that joke. It's an antique. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I find we go to the person who can get us the stuff. Uh, <laughs> this is a drug deal, man. <laughs> <laughs> we go to the guy. I, I know this guy who can get me the stuff. stuff. Wait, yeah, you, you got, got the skip. stuff? My breath is improved from crack. <laughs> exactly. Duh. It's sweet, sweet cocaine. That's a surprise. Uh, <clears throat> roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> For it to fight the, the shakes. Fight you. Uh, <laughs> endurance to see how much you can hail in one notch. Anyway. But, this is what enough of Pulp Fiction. Uh, <clears throat> Does he look like a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Would that be a perception check? <laughs> Does he look like a bitch? Uh, I understand you're the one to talk to about a skiff. Uh, what would the rates be and how soon can we get, can our party get to Crag Rock Spire? Okay. You can roll. Do you want me to roll? Yeah, roll, roll the poems. I just had it in case. Yeah. <laughs> in case. Oh! oh. First roll <laughs> Ladies of and natural one. Take your shots now. <laughs> <laughs> I can do nothing. <laughs> you I admire your voice, sir. <laughs> so, you like, uh, uh, unfortunately, like, man, <laughs> this this guy is is one of the first wave of survivors that, like, became human again when, uh, the demon initially exploded and then saw Medrash cut down like, another one of the werewolves knowing they were regular people. So... I don't remember that at all. <laughs> I really don't. This is a problem. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> if I recall, you were pretty upset that night. We've already <laughs> gone through the fact that this is a major drug issue. <laughs> so... Anyway, so oh, made through or made fun of how I speak. <laughs> no, we don't. Have... I got a pencil. That won't work. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so now that we're talking about dental hygiene, don't forget to brush at least two times a day. Um, but so uh, he he looks at at, at Medrash and just like he's like, no, I don't know what you're talking about, and just goes back to like obviously polishing this skiff, <laughs> like um. This is why we don't kill people. We know our people. Humans good. Dragonborn bad. Say it with me. Humans good. Dragonborn bad. I'd like to intimidate him. I'm well, grab him by the collar and shake him and demand we use the skiff. Okay. I can only see this going. <laughs> so, Medrash. Guys, just play without me. I'm going to sit here and take a nap. <laughs> Medrash goes and... Uh, <laughs> Medrash no, goes and, and tries to like grab this guy and the guy like does this like drunken style and like smacks his hand away, punches Medrash in the face, and Medrash loses two healing surges. <laughs> I, I, I will write and say I'm trying to find new dice. Um and he just uh he just points over and there's like the skip that this guy's working on is like it it, it looks like a flat bottom boat, but in where um, you know you, you would normally see you know wooden undercarriage, there's like this embossed metal. It looks like polished brass, and on the underside there are these these gleaming inscriptions, and on the outside it looks like um, these the, the skiff is armored with like overlapping brass plates, and they all have these different runes on it. And, I mean, like, without even rolling an Arcana check, like, you all kind of naturally know that this is a magical boat. Like, it's been enchanted to be able to kind of ward off the sand, like, the razor sand that the desert will throw at you. So this guy's already pissed off now. Yeah, this guy's not your friend. So um, can I try to intimidate him? 
by mm. him. No, I'm going to say that at two ones has pretty much turned this guy off of you. But he does... You, you, you are kind of in this area where lots of different people have skiffs. Um, I want that one. And you, you, you look next to him, <laughs> and too bad. there's this guy, and he's, instead of, you know, polishing his skiff, he's, he's kind of leaning against this, uh, this post, obviously sleeping. His skiff has giant holes where the metal plates should have been. His, uh, his runes aren't quite as shiny. But, you know, it, 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 it looks like he's the only one who didn't see Medrash try to uh, attack this dude for not responding to him. So you might want to try your luck with him. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, on a serious note, somebody else try. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I'm, hold on. Somebody else has pretty decent diplomacy. I, I, think I got mad one, son. <laughs> two. I might, I, might, I might give it a shot. No, you only, you're the only one who trained in diplomacy. You're our people have insight. Guy. We have so much insight in nature. <laughs> somebody heal somebody and make, get uh, them I, a You know what? Here's what we're going to do. I say, I'm sorry about this. I I'm hand him a gold roll. piece anyway. Okay. And I say, we're going to go talk to the other guy. You've pissed him off enough. We're not going to get anywhere with him. Let's try the guy who didn't see anything and let's just get out of here and move on our way. Okay? I'm feeling like, like a little shaken. Not stirred. In my opinion. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> ba dum ba dum ba da dum. All right. Ba -da -da. So you go and talk to this other guy. Yeah, I I talk to him alone. So. Okay. I'm so, being admonished by Keyleth. He he just like yeah, you, you, you get close enough and you can just smell <laughs> booze reeking off this guy. I mean. Is he human? Uh, yeah, he's human. He, probably, he smells like he might have troll in him. Uh, I mean, like... Uh, um, ex excuse me, like good sir. Um, we, I see you have a skiff. Uh, we would like some... Uh, we would like to get to Crag Rock Spire. Um, Did we'd like to... Up? Well, I'm trying to wake him yeah, up. Yeah, like, he, he, he kind of wakes up when you get close to him. Um, try and get to Crag Rock Spire post-haste. Um, would you mind giving us escort there? You know, he kind of stretches and looks at you, and he's like, uh, how many of you are there? There's five of us. Five of you? Uh, that will be, and he, you know, he, like, tries to count on his fingers, but, like, the couple fingers are missing. How about this? We'll give you, uh, three gold apiece. Uh. Can you not well, count that high because of his fingers? Well, he, he looks at all the other boats, and, you know, everybody else is kind of not looking at you and not happy with you. It's like, uh. 50 gold each. Um. And he goes back to leading on his, his post. See, I, see, I told you, Charlie. I told you, I told you the other captain yes. said that this guy wouldn't be able to transport a large creature such as myself across the sand because his boat is junk. And he goes, nope, you probably die. That's <laughs> Well, whatever, what the hell are you doing? No, I'm being sustained. That's a good move. That was awesome. How much gold did Apparently we get last not. time? You guys got like a two... Uh, I, I, I don't know. Like, yeah, I, I, yeah, are you seriously... No, I'll give you a hint. Plus 207. <laughs> yeah, I got 207. And 50 gold apiece, that's 250. But does he know that? Yeah, he doesn't so, know So, sir, what would the total be, then? For all of us. <laughs> You're hoping he's retarded? Counts on his fingers. 600 gold. No, no, it's not right at all. <laughs> Fuck it, I walk. <laughs> Cuthbert is instantly ripped to shreds. By the Stone skin wing. armor. <laughs> He's eroded. You, know, you see these two little cuffy stumps. <laughs> Reroll. <laughs> He's like the Colossus of Rhodes or whatever, like the thing like they find in the desert. It's like I came, I saw, and then was obliterated by sand. Sir, what if we give you ten gold each and all the mead on us? Do you, do you guys even have mead? No. <laughs> no, that's actually bullshit. Do we have you know anything what? on us? You know what? Fetch quest. He doesn't know Let's that. Let's go get this guy a keg. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, how about this? We each give you a keg of mead. That'll probably be more expensive. I could buy mead with, you know, 50 gold each. I, I whisper from the side, guys, 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 I... I don't want is to this really what, like what's gonna like stop this story? Is you guys are just like fuck it, like no, we have no, like five hundred gold I'm, each. I'm whispering to not like 
get his attention because I've I mean, I done enough know. already. Come over. See if he needs anything. We'll get it for him. Let's just pay the 50 gold. I'm tired. You pay my half because you pissed off the other guy. We're good. Whoa now. Whoa. Whoa. That was that was interesting. I don't have any money. Don't you just give your cut to other people though? I don't have yeah, I have I th- no I use think for money. I think it's kinda like when you like you pay for a pet's ticket on a plane. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like someone's probably gonna like cover you. Alright, fine. You you carry Yeah, but you want six hundred gold now. I'm gonna oldest pay fifty gold each. We're getting all of this, okay? Is that, Problem is that, solved. Is that group rate? Yeah, I mean that's Shut up. He doesn't know what a group rate is. Oh, is that an actual question? It wasn't in voice, so I didn't know. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Do you have family discount? <laughs> Priceline <laughs> says. <laughs> the dragon, How my much daughter. Pets? <laughs> we just sort of carry him. Well, unfortunately, because a pet has to go like undercarriage, yeah. like you're just like strapped <laughs> in this little box. <laughs> All right. Modeled. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so you guys just paid, like, the, the, the 250 gold. Yeah. Uh, is that a lot? Alright. Do we just got Tegan? I can't remember. Okay. I really oh, yeah. made last turn. Well, yeah, if, yeah. if Blake had rolled anything but a one twice, he probably, has, probably would have gotten okay with, you know. It's not totally Three. my fault. So now we're riding Nobody else the rickety, me. the rickety, yeah, the I janky tried. skiff. Um, well, he, he tells you that, uh, he's like, well, we'll leave at, uh, looks, looks at his wrist, because watches haven't been invented. <laughs> Um, he's like, we'll leave at noon. Meet me at the edge of town. And then he just wanders off, kind of... How soon is that noon? Is it like uh, noon tomorrow you, you, or noon in a few hours? You, you got a couple yet, hours. Yeah, 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 you guys just paid today. I need ten gold. Okay, I'll give you ten gold. I will... Wow, I will buy the material components and cast Portend Weather. Okay. Alright, so you, you cast Portend Weather. So I, I know what the weather will be like in 50 miles for the next 24 hours. Okay. Good thing hovercraft only goes 50 count. miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, uh, <laughs> Seven hours later. <laughs> no! But it, you it'll, it'll grant us a plus five to any sort of endurance weather-related checks. Okay. It'll be sandy. And how, how is that? Is that within, like, a, a certain time period, or is that within... You determine what the weather will be like for the next 24 hours within a 50-mile radius of you. You and your allies present... You and your allies present for the ritual gain a plus five bonus to endurance checks to endure extreme weather you have foreseen. I'm going to use that because I told you never use your rituals. <laughs> <laughs> use it because we're going on a boat. We're, we're on, on a boat, boat and we're going. Yeah. All right, so you, you, I mean, you're looking at it and like, you, didn't remember the rest of this like you, you, you know, it's a 50 mile radius. So you're in the middle of this town and then like, you, I, I kind of imagine it's kind of like you just see like this, this globe almost. Like, pr- like, project over the town. It's, like, away from the desert, it's, like, beautiful and nice. And, you know, it's just, like, birds are chirping. Bandits are being eaten by orcs. Um, and then, like, you go, like, the opposite way. And you've got, you know, forest, forest, beautiful, beautiful. And then there's, like, this wall of, like... I, I'm, I'm classifying it as weather simply just because... But it's it's, it's almost, like black miasma sand that's just whipping around with, you know, like... That, that is actually technically a, a weather phenomenon. Okay, then... Is that a result of yeah, the that's desert where we're going, or the huh? light? Yeah. It, it's kind of... It sounds it, good. It's it's a mix of... The very nature of crag rocks yeah, feels it, the life uh, essence from the land around it, it's leaving a, only black soot resembling sand. Which is why crag rock must be destroyed. No, it's pretty cool. This is when you find out that Bob's like an eco terrorist. <laughs> like, <laughs> Did we just change the the quest? Okay. Um. So, but like, like literally, like it, it's you get like right up to the sand, and like you can feel it, pu- push like slowly, but it's slowly pushing back the nice weather, like and it's just you know absolute terrifying. Like, right. you come out with, like, a nosebleed because, like, it's so <laughs> shitty. Hey, Udinil, what causes this? I, I think I know the term for this. Oh, yeah, magic. I was going to say, where are we going with that? All right, boys, the <laughs> forecast is periods of crappy with continued <laughs> shitty. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> High in the low. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, you guys, you know, you're... Sylvanas? <laughs> are you guys doing anything uh, else in the town? <laughs> I picked up that dagger. Uh, okay. I already have it on my character sheet. Okay. So. Should we go over the gear? 
Oh yeah, oh, you, you guys uh, had gear that you had gotten from the skeleton that had been entombed in that ancient god statue. Oh yeah, I just sell all that off. We're good. All right, okay. Um, well, <laughs> this town's economy is shit. I'll give you a so hint. You get five silver. <laughs> <laughs> I give you a hint. It doesn't matter. Not a great deal. <laughs> All right, so who got what? I got, I, Madrash, got the Helm of Exemplary Defense. Okay. You and each ally within three squares of you deal two extra damage when you hit with opportunity attacks. All right. I, I picture, yeah. the way I was picturing it was like a, mostly smooth, but it has, um. It's a special helmet, it's a minute. But not a, like not the Captain America wings, but kind of like dragon-esque, like wings kind of coming off of it. Okay. Like and actually... Chip like molded out of it, so it's got like kind of wings on my head. Okay, cool. They're exemplary. All right, who, who else got what? Sure. I got the uh, I got the gloves of recovery. <laughs> the crappy leather gloves, but it's okay because when my hammer is soaked with goblin blood, it's very hard to hold on to hammer. So now, <laughs> better grip, <laughs> better grip for my hammer. It's like those like special type of gloves that you get as like a kid, like for when you're playing in the snow. Like it's got like the pads yeah. on it. <laughs> but it's like for goblin blood. <laughs> but it's like so fucking threadbare because it's been in the statue forever. Whenever I miss an enemy with a melee attack power, I get to make a melee basic attack against that enemy oh as a free action daily. And uh, Keyleth, you got the uh, the armor, right? Did you want to describe the, uh, that? Bear skin armor. Yeah, the enduring beast to hide armor. It sounds um, my healing surge grants two additional hit points when I'm in beast form. Okay, what does it look like? Um, a beast. I guess it looks <laughs> like high armor. Um, <laughs> hey, okay. hey, boo boo. Hey, boo boo. Nah, I mean, so, you know, he's dressed in all like natural skin, so it just looks like I'm, I don't know, a hippie or something. <laughs> The amount Woo! of detail that you put into your character, sir. Hey, man. Comes with a hacky sack and frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that pot came from, man. It was just sewn rights. into the lion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 100% <laughs> hemp fur. <laughs> yeah. like, I guess that's where the healing every, surges come from. You just stone. It's medicinal. Every few, every few days, it gets smaller and smaller. Like, are you smoking it? No, man. It's a peace pipe, man. My drug rug. Awesome. Yeah, Ke- Keyless Armor is like all, like, natural looking armor it's, it's just primitive looking i'm thinking like i was thinking it would look like what american indians would wear. Okay. So, so basically well to go back to the what we were doing i was seeing how i my moves would work with the new helmet on because i had been wearing a helmet before okay and then uh all right so i mean you guys just hang around town to uh helmet. You know, eventually you make your way towards the end of town. I rolled a one! <laughs> Yay! No, I don't say that because I'm too busy crying. You, you oh. impale the dude or something. He's like, his kid's like, hey, Dad, I brought you some juice. Don't and bring us like, back, it's still a fresh wound! <laughs> like, you just see, like, Medrash's sword go through this kid. And, like, you know what? I'm glad he's having those nightmares. Like, fuck him. <laughs> like, this fuck guy him. just, like, shakes his fist. He just follows you 15 feet behind the entire time you're in town. Just shaking so his fist. So, in my fist. inventory, one fish shaking asshole. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So you guys. Sorry, you did murder his son. Just saying. Anywho. You guys uh, get to the edge of town, and um, the guy that you you had um, met up earlier, he's he's basically got his skiff, and it's kind of floating behind a horse right now, and he's like, well, you know, we 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 have to bring it to the outlying desert dock, and then we'll get going. So he lets you guys climb in the back. Um, well, by the way, good sir, what is your name? McCracken. McCracken. Yep. All right. <laughs> Phil McCracken. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's Mick. Like M I C. Kraken. This is. Ah, right. Is he old? Uh huh. Does he have a farm? Yeah. Does he sit there and scratch much. his fingernails on the board to get his attention? <laughs> anyway, so M- Mr. Kraken then would Does be. Does he hunt for sharks? Okay. <laughs> I hate you, Jeff. <laughs> All right, so I mean, like, it's a pretty like uneventful um, trip through the forest or through the jungle, I guess. I mean, like, uh, you guys think that like every now and then, like, you can see something running through like the tree canopy, or every now and then you'll see like you know the hint of something small, and then every now and then you'll you'll see um, like basically gnome villages, which are 
kind of like these these circle homes. As, as we pass by known villages, I grab Charlie's the collar of his shirt. Not today, Charlie. We've got something to do. Aww. Gnomes if you're goblins. good, return trick. Uh, well, the, the, the gnomes are actually uh, they're above ground. Like they're they are I guess oh, above gobbles, the camp. Um, they have these these round wooden houses that are hanging from trees, and then they have these like elaborate walkways which kind of connect them. Um, free through it. But uh, you know, after you know a couple couple hours, you guys. Moon to Vendor. <laughs> well, no, because in the in that they were like just built around the trunks of trees. These okay. things are like. I guess Pods. Christmas ornaments would be yeah. the closest. Oh, God. Pods. They, they look like if you hollowed <laughs> out a gourd pods. and then, like, hung a bunch of rope bridges in between them. <laughs> See, I told you they grew from pods. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just one arrow hits the country. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, after it's a couple hours, beard. you guys, uh, you get to the, the, the dock, which is literally just, you you have the what what little jungle is left. And then a bridge that kind of arches over, and it looks like it's made out of the same dragon scale, like dragon armored scale material as the bottom of these boats, or the boats should be made out of. Um, what are you saying there, huh? <laughs> you guys have a crappy fucking boat. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, and you, you can see the, the, the wind, like, whipping sand at it, and it just kind of, like, deflects. Like, it, it, it kind of looks like there's... um. A cylinder just kind of wrapped all the way around the dock. Uh, McCracken brings his boat all the way to the end, drops it in you know the sand, and uh, hands off the reins to this this guy who's basically got like a little stable at the end of this dock. Um, what did you want to say? Oh, yeah, because we were being dragged by a horse that whole time. Yeah, it's just so you can get it from one place to another. And uh, you know, you guys are already in the boat. He jumps in pushes it off, and it just takes off. I mean, you guys are probably going an easy, you know, 30 miles an hour, which for, you know... These that, signs, yeah, it's pretty good. That's, it, it's ridiculous. There's no Corvettes, there's no, there's no the Corvettes in a Mini. <laughs> so, I mean, um... <laughs> that's what to do list. Bring it to the front of the class. Get Astral Diamond, revive Kevis, kill Kevis. <laughs> 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 All right, well, I don't know, I don't know why Charlie Foe falls out the boat, <laughs> skids across. Hey, Josh, grabs him by the collar again. Charlie, get the hell in here. He, like, Maddie rolled a one and dropped <laughs> Okay, really? He, like, yeah, skips yeah, across, and you just see, like, a vapor up. trail of <laughs> Charlie's a bloody mist. All right, no, oh, but, I mean, you guys are... <laughs> Yeah, you know, like Mc, McCracken's pretty. Yeah, he does. He, he he's pretty he's pretty quiet. I mean, he's not really saying anything. He's just obviously doing his job. Um, every now and then he'll take you know like a sharp left, and you know he'll he'll go around a dune for a particular reason, or he'll, you know you'll think that you're about to you know hit like this giant rock formation, and like last moment like he'll veer and miss it by you know centimeters. Um. You guys want to do a, uh, a perception check real fast? Yes, please. Oh, sure. All right. Uh, I'll just believe what everyone else tells me. I really am scared to roll at this 17. point. 17. Okay. 28. Yeah. 13. <laughs> 28. We'll say I'm busy meditating with my eyes closed. You're not even going to roll a perception I'm check? I'm afraid to roll! Roll a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the rape scene! <laughs> I've dropped the dice. I guess I should actually add that up. <laughs> yes. Seventeen. Okay. Um, you have a four perception. It's no, three. I just can't do math. Um, I got a hundred perception. So, so I see everything. Cuff bad. Like you, you were like hanging on the side of the boat <laughs> or the, the, the skiff, just like vomiting. Oh. Like, oh. No, is that, is that endurance? I don't want to be the guy who throws that. Am I leaning my head out the window with my <laughs> <Yeah>. tongue? <laughs> <laughs> So that, right so, behind the just barking at go, the Goliath vomit. <laughs> but uh, you know, Aww. you you, you notice uh, dogs like vomit. Like behind you, you there is you have you have the wake of the 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 thing that's going over the sand, and you have the sand that's kind of whipping against the force field that's on this boat, and you also have three different wakes that aren't really responding to how the boat is like. You know, Kraken will take like a sharp right, and like these things will go 
disappear for a little while, go like under something, and then like pop up on the right and the left of the boat, and then you know like or they'll they'll, they'll kind of like oh goody they'll they'll all you know like kind of come together and they'll oh, have like goody. little like flying formation. I guess we're making a rhythm then. <laughs> hey, Mc, um, hey, McCracken, you know we're being followed, right? <laughs> He, and he, he, he looks behind him, and you just hear this, oh, and the boat punches it. I mean, like, <laughs> you're going an easy, you know, 40 miles an hour, and the, these things are still keeping up with you. Um, Do you give tell to everybody else as well? Well, I'm sure when I say we're being followed, you guys just... Well, actually, I guess it's a good point. What's the sound? Like, can we hear each other okay? Yeah, well, because, yeah, like, the... Uh, like basically, oh, okay, you've got the, like a force field at the top. Yeah, oh, okay. I mean, so like, it's like the so, inside of a plane. There's like so, that dull thrum. Yeah, we so we hear Cuthbert yell it. I stand up and brace myself in case we stop. <laughs> uh, actually, you hold on to me. I'm gonna lean out the window and have my crossbow ready, just in case. Wouldn't the force field protect right. that? Um, no, I mean, like, like it's one of those things where it's like. It's, it's it's a one way. It's specifically made to block the sand, like to repel the sand. Like you could that stick your hand out. Destroy the hell out of things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. So whatever we think is following us is following us fairly close. Yeah, and fairly quickly. Okay. In my cloak, I think of powder, and I reach into a pocket. Is there powder? No, there's not powder. Um, you Did said you... that sometimes if I just think about it, it might just be there. I gave you a map just to be a cool guy. Whatever. You, you should have taken it away you... when she wasn't there the next time. <laughs> Did you put powder in? I don't know. All right. I said Drew or should just had a mask. Give you a bag of sand. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it would. Mm-hmm. All right, so... Um, no, it's under the sand. Everybody uh, roll uh, roll initiative real fast. Hmm. And uh, Huff Bad, you're going to get a plus two. To initiative? To initiative. Sixteen. Okay. All right, so uh, char. <laughs> so you, you got a sixteen, uh, Bob. What'd you get? Nine on the dice plus five, fourteen. Fourteen. All right, so Bob, fourteen. Uh, Blake, what'd you get? Twelve. You don't get a name. Twelve. <laughs> I think he wrote Cuthbert and then Bob. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> I just kind of blanked because I'm, I'm not used to you guys all being here. There is no Joe. Uh, Only got back. Uda Nil got a 20. Okay. <laughs> and okay. Charlie Foe. I got a 13. A 13. Like a sledgehammer mm-hmm. for your birthday. September 20th. Mm. That's so soon. <laughs> Get to work. <laughs> hey, one of the big ones. We have, we, have, we have that one at work. We used to uh, align paddles uh, on the floor. 14. Make it so it's all pretty. Just get to walk around my fucking Thor hammer. Just whoa, boom! Do you tell people they're uh, what's the line? Do you tell people they're an old man and a fool? You are an old man and a fool. <laughs> Sour. Okay. Cause that's a show. <laughs> I think I actually just quit. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> all right. Draw us this skiff, Mister D to the M. D to the M. Stands for a disc master. Stands for dick move. <laughs> Does it? Yes. It's not a noun. That's a noun. It's a proper noun. Yeah. Nah. Don't give him that much. Sour. <laughs> okay. I need a. Let's okay, so Mick Kraken Cra- uh, is in the back. Uh, set your guys up on the however you want. Set you guys. Set you guys. Actually, I'm gonna go there. I'm holding you at that side. Are, are we seriously, Foe and Majorash? Am I holding on to you while you? Presumably, over? we've been yeah. driving for a while. Let's say that you haul him back into the boat. Okay. So, all of a sudden, you know, like like Cuthbad manages to, like get that warning out. He's like, you know, dudes, and then all of a sudden you just see dudes. these, like. They, Dudes! <laughs> they, they're, they're basically this black, fluid, like, tapeworm with, like, s- like six sets of, like, bat wings coming off the side. Um. That sounds horrible. We, like, 
But Kraken, we can't stop here. This is back country. <laughs> he just pushes you. <laughs> um, is he stopping the boat? No, you guys are still there, going. No, These guys no, are no, keeping no, up no, with no, you. No, okay, no, so we're moving at that pace. <laughs> right. Grab boys. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, oh, these guys are... Um, oh, God. I called dibs on Tammy Bacon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have fun with that. Uh, these, these guys latch on, like one of them like latches onto the side of the boat and just start, kind of like starts ripping off those discs that are on the side while other ones are, uh, oh my god, Joe, I will stab you. <laughs> while the other ones are kind of like hovering around. As we're moving. As, as you're moving, yeah, you guys are going out. Uh, uh, they have wings. They were, they were, like, they were keeping up yeah, with Yeah, they you. kept up with us. Were they under or the or sand or? They, they were under the sand. Okay. Um, and I mean, like, they're, they're, they're kind of, like, got this this weird black membrane kind of stuff, but it doesn't look like the sand's really bothering them. It looks like it's almost, like, cutting through them. Um, but, but this one's actually chewing off the discs. Right. Uh, this guy actually takes, like, a deep breath. Like, it, you know, it, it's, it's a... Is it, do, it, they, do they just sort of jump out of the sand at intervals? Yeah. Like, uh, basically, like, terrifying dolphins with wings that are worms. Right. Um, Best but, uh, description ever. You see, she one kind of expand words. all of a sudden and shoots a, uh, a like a, a bolt of flame. Like it, it can't even be like a, a stream of fire, but it actually hits the boat and catches that on fire. Uh, and McCracken yells out, "Caleb, here's your new coat." <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you're fine. Here's <laughs> your, your new thing to put the thing out. <laughs> Um, McCracken's like, you, you just hear me, you, you, you gotta put out the fires, you know, we, we, amazingly, not the best boat. <laughs> <laughs> what? It, it might wait, not wait, survive wait, wait, wait. being on fire. Is, is it the Titanic? <laughs> it's called the Titanic, it just has like <laughs> these two boobs painted on the side, like, he thought it was really funny. Now we know why Charlie chose the <laughs> boat. <laughs> okay. Do, do, do. Um... <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Cuspad, you got to be on fire because you don't have a ranged attack. On a bet? Well, some of them I'm are. thinking he could knock them off the side. I'll yeah. ice breath it. Now, okay, you don't have a ranged attack. The ice breath is a blast. Eat me. While we're moving 40 <laughs> miles an hour. <laughs> he's just, on he's here. <laughs> Boosh. Uh, uh, all right, but you only need to do that okay. once. With your ice breath. Um, yeah. You guys can walk up to a fire and basically stomp it out. For all intents and purposes, um, it's <laughs> a standard a action to stomp 15, it out. Then you okay. step through the boat. Okay. And <laughs> it's a good one thin. second. The margin. It's called <laughs> skill. The boat has a health pool of Uh-oh. 29. Oh god! I hate these missions. No balls. <laughs> and each time there is a fire, it's going to take four points of damage Duh. per turn. So, and the fire begins at the Besides very... Besides the initial fire? Uh, the fire will take off... Well, yeah, we'll, we'll give you this round. Yeah, the, t- yeah, yeah. the fire will start... We just learned the rules. <laughs> the <laughs> rules? The, the fire will tick off three points of damage, or four points of damage at the beginning of every turn. Yeah. All right. <laughs> He's just like... <laughs> I just utilized my special attack, DM Glare. <laughs> It wasn't, it, wasn't, wasn't bad. And now Andrew and Joe are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Turn to stone. All right. So who's first? Uh, it is Udanil. It's Spock theme song. Remember okay. that one? <laughs> 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 yep. What's that song from, like, like do you last Monday? Yeah. Or last Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It, it, was, it, was, it was constantly... <laughs> You know, this, this actually makes more sense, though, right? It's like pod race, except we're getting Ugh. shot up the snakes. Deal with it. Okay. You can't use so one of the first, the original three. That guy right there. It's from the first movie, okay. though. Okay. Yeah. Nah, it was from the fourth movie. So I can hit you. Just think about anything special. Um, I'm just going to do my Science. basic ranged attack. Okay. Don't you have ice breath or something? Oh, that's, that's me. That's me. <laughs> nope. Oh, no, that's why she had dazzling sunshine. Um, Jesus Christ. 11, 17, plus I have a combat advantage. 19? So. That is a miss. Versus AC? Yep. That's good to know. 
<laughs> that, all right, so Udinil like you know like fires, but like manage like doesn't quite calculate for the fact that you guys are going forty miles an hour. So you just see like this spell like leave the force field and just go. <laughs> <laughs> you should have aimed where I was going to be instead of where I was. All right, so that means that we are at the worms. Biting my tongue, so I'll keep the riff going. Just keep, keep the game going. God damn it. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, so this one right here decides that he is going to take a flame attack against... Who's See, this? That's foe. Against Mr. Charlie Foe. He's just like, hello. <laughs> Actually, it targets... It's a close blast three, so... Well, nips! <laughs> Indeed, nips. <laughs> Be what? Center on you. One, two. So it's going to be against you two. And two parts of the boat. I always knew this day would come. All right, so... Or what happens when the boat is destroyed? <laughs> we all roll new characters. <laughs> We're all gnomes now. <laughs> oh, yeah. player slayer dice, you have failed me. Okay, so that is a... Nine versus Charlie Foe's fortitude. Uh, fortitude? Oh, yeah. uh, that misses. Okay. Whew. I out there. Oh, a 21 versus... Is that you, Medrash? Yes. Versus it, Medrash's fortitude. That certainly does hit. Okay. Yar. Curses. Yar. <laughs> I'd be in trouble. <laughs> uh, take seven points of fire damage. Hoorah. Uh, and you're on fire. Imagine that. <laughs> uh, Weird. Save, oh God! Get the fire extinguisher. Say, uh, you're gonna take five points of damage you at the beginning the of your turn. You are the fire extinguisher. Uh, save ends. Uh, and then I will roll against the boat twice. No. A nineteen. Wait, are the monsters attacking the boat? Uh, it's a close burst. Yeah, the monsters are attacking. No, you guys are attacking the boat. Oh. No, I'm saying like oh that oh the burst is doing it. Yeah. Oh okay. I thought I thought the others were like going after it. Oh Jesus. I was very <laughs> confused. Well, this is awesome. Now, if we try to cross those, would it be um, painful, rough terrain? I I would say like you could do like an acrobatic check to get over it, but it count as your move. So it'd be, it'd be basically like you could shift through it. Yeah. With an acrobatics, or um, you would have to use your standard to take it out. I mean, remember, at the beginning of the round, you guys are going to be taking 12 points of damage to the boat. And it only has 29. Yep. All right. So that oh, means myself, that okay. this one is going to slide up across the boat. You know, it's like taking off the little the little metal things as it goes and swings Actually, at... Actually, uh, you do get opportunity to attack the cross here right there. Yeah. And, it's, and you get plus two to attacks against opportunity attacks since you're within three squares of me. There you go. All right, go for it. With Ooh. my Dragon Captain America hat. Please. Dragon Captain America. I'd watch that. I would watch that. Fuck yeah. I would watch this. <laughs> Today we learn about numbers. Balls. 15 versus AC. That is a miss. That's a miss. That's good. All right. Probably 20. So, uh... Oh, balls. He takes a swing at Cuthbad with his, like, basically, like, you, you kind of see, like, the wing, like, flap up, and there's just this huge hook on it. It's a poison barb. Oh. And he just slashes at your face with a 25 versus AC. Hit. Okay. Wow. You expect yeah. me to say no? Kind of. Oh. You do it all the time. No. Yeah, you do lie all the time. <laughs> I do not. Wait, I'm doing it right now. Meta. Uh, take ten points of damage. All right. I these that means were supposed to hurt. <laughs> right. Don't provoke him. <laughs> watch me. Cuth, uh, Cuthbat is now your turn. Yay! Watch me miss. You should roll twice, don't you? Don't say such things. Shut. <laughs> so you can put out a fire. <laughs> Chuck it, put out a fire. Like, out of character, I am going to go to ice breath these. And you guys all have one action point, too, just saying. You know what? We didn't start the fire. It's been burning I'm... since this boat's been turning. Yep. It's been but... going on a straight line. 
No, oh, you mean like turn, turn, not No, he's just turn. been going across this one dune over and over again. Is, is Billy Turns Joel? out they're not really fast. Is Billy Joel in that really one dune? <laughs> just singing? Jeez. How about this one? Do I have to, to be... You could probably yeah. hit him, okay. walk away, minutes, so. and trap with the fire out. Yes. You'll probably incur an opportunity attack, but... Do I have to... Do I have to be standing on the fire or right next to the fire? Next to the fire. Uh, Bad idea. Shit. You should know. Alright. So don't find a way to bullshit him. I mean, make him believe they're a good idea. <laughs> Alright, so minor move standard. Let's do this. Right. Yeah, that's So shift is move? Yes, yeah, shift move. is move. Thank fuck for small favor. Shift is move. I put out the fire standard. Uh, I guess. Right. Since, it, since, since it pretty much just started, I just yeah. stamp it out with my feet. It's not that these are particularly powerful, like, fires. It's just it's a really, really shitty boat. Like, and I use my, uh... Fucking make me burn my dailies now. <laughs> Going to throw my hammer at the, uh, number three worm <laughs> beast on the side of the boat. All right. Let me just say thank you for making each one a different number. <laughs> yeah, right. It makes it a lot easier. Oh, wait, that's the melee face. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, what is with this today? <laughs> no music, only numbers. <laughs> only <laughs> numbers. Twenty-three versus AC. That hits. He is hit. Do 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 do, and that is a twelve, seven. All right. And you're going up against number three. Number three. Kill it. On a successful hit, he is knocked prone. <laughs> Four. Well, prone while you're moving yeah. is a good one. 11, 11, 11, 11, 11 points of damage, he's knocked prone. Now that we're flying along at 40 miles an hour, he's knocked prone means he gets the fuck way over there. Let <laughs> me, uh, I'm going to try to do a save to see if he can, like, scramble on the boat. Uh, what should you call it, Joe? Uh, low or high? Ah, Jesus. Um, low? Uh, <laughs> all right, so you, you knock him prone, and he manages to scramble on and, like, just barely, you know, it's like bat wings, just kind of claw and catch at the end. Um, but I'm going to say that he actually gets knocked around a little bit, so he takes a little bit more damage than... Huzzah! 11. Yeah, 11 points of damage. Uh, just, that was that... that, that that's my balance actually was just, off. Does not count. <laughs> that's actually just supposed to be the... Uh, the sort of, like, follow-up attack, and then I get up there and start beating the shit out of him when he's prone. <laughs> it's never supposed to be that powerful. Okay, so that means that it is now, <laughs> after that well-thought-out sentence, it is now Cuthbe- or, uh, Kila. Yay! Cuthbe's go again! <laughs> I like him the most. The, the twist is that Namas are actually here, it's just been Cuthbat over and over and over, playing it around D&D by himself. <laughs> Joe, that's a really, really good Blake impression. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking guys. <laughs> um, I'm gonna blow a daily. Wow, oh, alright. Lightning arc. What's his name? I'd like this should be a power in the fridge. Can you grab or a gator? I can attack two targets. Plus eight versus reflex. Him and him. Okay. Do that thing you do. Um voodoo. Have voodoo that you do. Yeah, alright. Plus eight versus reflex. Number one. Boom. Nineteen versus reflex. Reflex. Oh, that hits. Yeah. All right, number two, plus eight versus reflex. Reflex. Look on. Uh, nine plus eight, 17 versus that, reflex. That is a big old miss All right, number one. Even if I miss, or number one, the damage is uh, 1d10 plus wisdom. So number one takes 1d10 plus six. So, 2 plus 6, 8 points of damage. Alright. Um, oh, Batty 3 is bloodied, by the way. Sorry. Number 2, even though he's so it bloodied... Doesn't take, it doesn't take much, then. <laughs> even though... Or, I'm sorry, even though he's bloodied. Even though I missed, he takes half damage. Okay. So, 7 plus 6, 13, 12, 6 points of damage. Alright. And they're dazed. Oh. Okay, that just means they can take one action. And I get a secondary attack... Based on fortitude, 
Yeah. Wisdom versus fortitude, and they're and they're not prone. Okay. Hey. So, <laughs> wisdom versus fortitude. Number one plus eight. Eighteen versus fortitude. Okay. Eighteen versus fortitude. That is a miss. <laughs> that is not, not a two miss. versus fortitude. It's uh, uh 24. 24. 24, that hits. He's not prone. Dazed and knocked prone. Okay. And we're moving 44, 40 miles an hour. Same same thing. Let's make uh, it 44. Call it low or high. Which way am I calling it? If you want it, if he goes... So, call ten, it heads or tails. Real yeah. quick, is 10 low or high? Uh, going to be low? 10 is going to be low. Okay. And then 11 through 20 is high. So, so what is you, 1 through 10 good for me or you? Uh, That's just it. it. That's <laughs> you call nice it roll. if it's high, if you then call you it win. Right wow. Right, Let me just well. flip a coin. Are you that no. slow? Like, I know that dice haven't been made in, like, you know... You said saving throw, so I thought... That no, I, yeah, it's for him. He's making a saving throw to see if he can, like, catch on the boat. Because you just knocked his ass prone. Right, so is he, is he rolling low or high? You say. <laughs> you decide. <laughs> if, 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 Heads <laughs> or tails? <laughs> <laughs> if you call high and he rolls high... I know coin money is a new invention high. these kids came up with, but... <laughs> You're killing Blake, guys. <laughs> 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 He's low. crying here. I low. said low. <laughs> low. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, it's the lowest you can go. He goes up one. <laughs> yep. Wait. He explodes. He <laughs> At, yep. under the boat and dies. So, yeah, basically, like, you just see him, like, hit the sand. Grab and kind of, like, pop him. up again. And there's, like, half of him's <laughs> missing. And then he hits the sand again. And you just, just hear this... <laughs> <laughs> Before he drops something out of the moving car, and, and it just like it just like he's just prone. He missed that one. <laughs> he's dazed. 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 Excuse me. Uh, so to be fair, it was a water. Wouldn't ball. moving to keep up with us count as his one action? Ah. Oh. No. Aww. It's like a move action. That's cheap. I agreed with you. <laughs> we'll just say he's tethered psychically to the. <laughs> That's what they do in this. Like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Because lucky I don't give you guys this throne. That's not getting a cop survivors. I shot you. No. no. I wish I could get a link to the couch. <laughs> All so cops and robbers are psychically linked to the couch. All right. All right. Well, that's my uh, that's my deal. All right, Charlie Poe. All right. But I only needed one. Well done. It's fine work. I like it. Uh, this one's gonna kill that guy. So one of you now has to take the entire turn to steer the ship. <laughs> I don't like this game anymore. That's not good either. Let's just play Monopoly. Put out and the he's, fires. He's, he's bloody right. I have put out a yeah. fire. I'm gonna move it's over. It's not my fault. He and killed take something. him. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move. One, <laughs> two, Fuck three, you, oh, wait. four, five. Okay. Is putting on a fire a standard action? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I'm going to everything. preparatory shot burn number three. Not okay. And I am plus 11 versus AC, <laughs> and I, um, well, my minor action, actually, it's a no action, I believe. I can't Just, believe it's got like sorry. an AC, a fortitude, and a reflex that are up around. Um, as a, I don't know why I didn't just throw kittens at you. I, I mean, I'm such a dick. <laughs> as a, Maybe we're allergic. You don't know. I hate him so much. How <laughs> terrifying would that be? A bunch of fucking winged cats coming out of the fucking sand. You guys are going to Crag Rock. Oh, yeah. You don't know Singing what's going to happen. Singing that Nyan song. Nyan, 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 Oh, God. It's just fucking anyway. rainbow power. It's just flying along. You know what's going to come up later? We're going to be like, oh, my God, kittens. Oh. <laughs> Kids and puppy news. It was my weakness. Yeah. No, but I, I turn my crossbow on. I moved. Going to try a preparatory shot on number three. All right. I'm mm -hmm. plus eleven versus AC. Uh, twenty-seven versus AC. That hits. <laughs> uh, six points of damage. Okay. Got the fire. Um, I already used everything. <laughs> Don't you Stop. have a uh, combat advantage if you Stop act the fire first? Burn. Uh, it's he already acted before uh, okay. and everything, so. <laughs> All right, so that means that it is Medrash's turn. Sideways, Zoidberg. It's because we're on a boat. Let me put out the fire, perhaps. Let us put out the fire, maybe. Going to shift one. Okay. Well, I guess I could walk. Either or. I stretch, say turkeys. <laughs> fire gets he, an he opportunity attack. He moonwalks. Um. <laughs> 
Real quick, if I got a one on a minor action, would I have to forfeit the rest of my turn? Mm, on a minor? Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you get a one at any point during your turn. Uh, if you get a one to move, you trip. I'm going to attempt to ice breath the two fires in front of me. Is it okay. close blast three? Yeah. So you actually hit him as well. No. So, one, two, three. Um, one, two. One, two, three. Yeah. Really? Three by three. Two. You would get him. Yep. So do that voodoo you do. And hit this time. It's or not going to be like spitting into it's the It's Courtsianity, Joe. Come on. Courtsianity. Courtsianity. It's really hard to say. It means it's real. Uh, yeah, Dragon Breath versus Fire Reflex and then Wormy's Reflex. Okay. Please just hit the worm. I take a deep breath as I'm wont to do when I'm about to use my Ice Breath. Right. Which has never worked. 9 plus 8... 17 versus Reflex. I feel it's a miss. Uh, that, that's a miss on the Wormy guy. The fires go out. Yeah, Ooh. take that, fires. All right. Hey, I didn't roll one, guys. Let's see hey. if I can do it again. Yeah. Good standard job. action. Good job. That, the reason I ask is I can do a standard action now. On pain of death, my daily. Holy symbol. You're just burning Range all our versus his will. Son of a okay. bitch. Wormy's will. All right. I'm, I start praying to Kord, Draconic. Do you just call him a Deutschmark? I think you're a Deutschmark, you Deutschbag. <laughs> Deutschbag. <laughs> Versus his will. All right. Are, are you ready? My I, mother yeah, was no, I'm a I see. A, I see various windows. I oh, I'm, I'm, I just had to pull something up. I didn't want to catch you off guard. There's a second thing that you guys have to do after this. Bum bum bum. Oh, RW blew your daily. <laughs> I. My, uh, the holy symbol over my eye glows oh. bright blue, and I get a 19 versus Will. Uh, that hits? Yes! So he I is have... racked with terrible pain. Not prone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, 3d8 plus my charisma Sorry modifier. Nice. He's, he's wow, growing up big damage. He's actually hitting things for once. Shut up, Andrew. Bizarro Blake. <laughs> Quintanella is just like regular hit. Blake. The only difference is that he hits things. <laughs> All right. I'll take it. <laughs> well, the reason I use this is because even if I miss, it still does half damage. <laughs> and then you roll all also, the ones. Also, it sounds like James Plus roll three. James. Do it. Three and three, six. Fourteen. Nineteen damage. Oh, wow. <clears throat> nice. So I guess that be that would be, I keep praying in Draconic. Uh, I'm not going to do the noise. It, uh, cord, cord it, just throws it. Tra- it translates to <laughs> Cord. Strike down my enemy! <laughs> and a, my life is yours! <laughs> my, my, the symbol over my eye goes bright blue, and then, not a lightning bolt, but basically a... Like when the clouds part, you see one shaft of like light come through. It's a light blue light shines on the worm. Little blue flames burst out all over its body. It screams at pain. And... A bunch of harpies come out of the sand and attach <laughs> blades to his arms, <laughs> branding him to once, surface once with the god of war for all tar- eternity. He has to take one eight, d8 damage after making any attacks on its turn to save ends. Nice. And that reminds me, I need to take my five damage. I'm upset you didn't, oh, no, you pencil. Had, you didn't get that reference. I got it. My pencil ran away. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, for once, I saved you somebody. with a pencil. Somebody. I'm going to show this in your eye. And I'm going to save to... You have to wait oh, for did you take the damage? I did. Okay. I remember when I read this, nope. like, I can do this to Matt. Oh, no! I have one fire still. <laughs> Yippee! I pat myself to, ah, oh, God, it burns! <laughs> All right. Instead of doing something cool like icing yourself or something. That's gross, Joe. <laughs> Just It's inappropriate. Your mom gave me the burn last night. hey yo. Once again, we need we need separate mics, people. Is this, is this For ev- only pennies ev- a day, you right. too can shut up, Charlie Foe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I moved, I minored, I standarded, I, I spoke, I'll allow it. I spoke in Majrash, and I went black, Spoken. black. That's my turn. Okay. Black, black. So that means that right now it is the fire's turn. So <laughs> you guys take, or the boat takes only four, four points of damage. As opposed to all. All right. Doing good. So, and then all of a sudden, like, the you know, the boat, like, you, you've been feeling this gentle hum the entire time that you guys have been on the boat. And then, like, all of a sudden, you just feel this this shaking. Like, this, like, you know, like, kind of like, I would almost say, like, you know, liken it to an earthquake. As all of a sudden, you see this other thing 
like basically giant wings come out and like force itself up, kind of tipping the boat as it comes up in front of you. <laughs> Sandworm. <laughs> um. Beetlejuice. 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 Why did you Michael do that? Keaton show <laughs> shows up. Can, hey, we, have like, up? can we have Michael Keaton as a playable character? <laughs> well, ba- basically, it, it's you. You've got this. It looks like a dragon for all intents and purposes. Same only dragon. instead of where it's it's. it's Mouth should be, or its face should be. There's just this this gaping maw. Lamprey. Yeah, it's it's basically a lamprey mouth. Ew. Um, attached to this super long neck <laughs> with these fat wings and four arms that end in these like scythe like claws. Um, like it doesn't have like feet to grab onto anything. Like it doesn't have like opposable fingers or whatever. It's just got these massive claws, and it's kind of made out of the same black icor kind of stuff. Um. Icor, <clears throat> whatever. Uh, I thought it was Icor too. Maybe it is. I well, two to one. You're wrong, Joe. Well, yeah, but one of them's Blake, so it doesn't count. Hey, ah! I just did so much usefulness. I did just so much usefulness. <laughs> whatever. We could have had a better boat. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. My daily landed. <laughs> Congratulations. You're not allowed on the USS Friendship. Okay, so a close yeah, blast. Off the boat. A close <laughs> blast floor, four is it goes out and four. Four, yeah. four by four. That's what I just did. Four by four blast. adjacent to that square. Okay, so it's gonna do a close blast four here. So one, two, three, and we'll say four here. So sorry, I got. Oh, oh good. I, I wasn't paying attention. I wanted to see who got hit. I didn't, know how, I didn't know what to write down for my damage. Most of us. Yeah. Well, that sucks. I know you shouldn't say this, but we need to split the party towards the back of the boat. Okay. It's not really split. It's more like get the fuck out of the front <laughs> of the boat. However, I'm... The GTFO, the boat. The, the bow. The bow? <laughs> the drow? The drow? The drow boat. The drow boat? Okay. Drow, drow, drow your boat. Keyless. A 19 <laughs> hitcher reflex. It does. All right. Uda Nil, does a 22 hit your reflex? No. The answer is yes. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know me. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> then it explodes. Aw, oh, so close. Right there. Oh, well, that actually, wow. that's so a pretty close. good reflex. Um, and no, Medrash no, does a 11 hit your, or your uh, reflex. 11? No. Okay. <laughs> Shield! Uh, <laughs> All right, what's it do? Ashley, bullshit. Shield. Activate. I throw out my hand, and the shield of arcane energy springs into my protection against my own energies. Oh, I might not work for this one because it's for AC. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm such a jerk. <laughs> Why? We don't even know what happens yet. No, All we know is he's just—he's just, he's just like, know, right? He's just like, he's just like. Reflex. Like, why are you... I mean, right. obviously... 24! It was, a, so, he, it was a healing spray. I don't know why you guys are trying to avoid I'm okay this. now. This is, this is Death the Friendly <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... um. He wants to butter you up before he eats you. Keyleth. Because I'm cooler than you. Take I'm sorry, I don't know 12 why. points yeah. of fire damage, and you were slowed <laughs> save ends. I'm, I'm an up-close person, too, so... <laughs> You're not comfy. All right, and... 12 points every turn? <laughs> no, no. You're 12 points of damage and you're slowed. Oh, slowed. Save save hands. Hands. Gotcha. Five, uh, he we'll sprays do them with saliva. Fire. Fire, fire, fire. Where are we, Oh, son of a bitch. Fire, fire, fire. Hey, Matt, you know how I said ice breath before? I can do it twice now, but don't read my sheet. <laughs> <laughs> and even if I roll a one, it hits all the fire. I have this voice that tells me to burn things. Um, <laughs> I have the voice too now. All right. Does that sound like Oprah? Okay. I, mean, I don't uh, have an Oprah voice. Does that voice have any advice for us right now? Kevis, what should we do? Eat Ask her again later. Okay. <laughs> is, what is it, a friggin' magic eight ball? <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> Ask Actually, again later. It's gonna go. Too frothy, can't read. Get off my boat. <laughs> Get off my boat. Get off my plane, Chewie. All right, um... I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to play anymore. I'm not actually having more fun. So it's going to take its two front, like, oh, blade hands and swing at Keyleth with both of them. <coughs> Do the limbo. Uh, well, 
a 11 versus your AC. Negative. And a 27 <laughs> versus your AC. 27 hits. Good okay. Lord. Take another six points of damage. And then he gets to shift. Weak. All right. Weak. Uh, actually, you know what? This is a pretty good place to stop right now. Um, you know, thank you, everybody, for listening to another rare episode of Natural Ones where we have the entire fucking party. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just always a pleasure to have everybody at this table, even though there's way too many of us. Um, I got two ones in a row. <laughs> yeah, Blake sucks pretty hard. If you think about this way, there's a universe, an alternate Earth somewhere, where there's alternative fuels, nobody dies in meaningless wars, and Andrew isn't there. Think of how glorious Blake to... rolls 20s <laughs> instead of 1s. I want to go no, there. I don't play d in the other <laughs> I want to go there. I spend, I spend my time doing important things. And 1s like... are high, and 20s are not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, you know, just one one last quick plug. Everybody, remember to go to the uh, the blog at uh, naturalonespodcast.blogspot.com. And this is Matt DM signing off. This is Andrew, aka Charlie Foe. This is Gus Bad Day hey, Joe. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey. Hi, Joe. Bob. <laughs> That's all I got. Bob can't follow up. This is Blake. This is Ashley. All right, only half of them are characters. And as always, thank you for listening to Natural Ones, and we will see you guys next week. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hello, this is Cuthbad, breaker of walls and crusher of skulls. This is End of Podcast. <laughs> Natural Ones Podcast is a Worthless Degree Studios production and is hosted by the fine folks at Zombie Popcorn. All characters and situations are 100% fictional and any similarities to people living or dead or undead is completely coincidental. Dungeons and Dragons and all associated works are property of Wizards of the Coast, who are actual wizards! Many thank yous for listening. If you like Natural One's podcast, please like us on the Book of Faces at facebook.com slash natural ones podcast or mail us at e at natural ones at zombiepopcorn.com. Or use Tweetermancy to warn us of impending doom at Natural One's DM. And now for the killings of the minions!